If you have goldfish crackers in your cupboard, you might want to check the label. Pepperidge Farm just recalled some flavors because they could be contaminated with salmonella. So far, this is just a precaution, but it is the latest food scare this summer, and that has Linda from Maple Grove wanting to know, are we seeing more salmonella poisoning? Good question. Here's Heather Brown. So does your family eat a lot of goldfish crackers? Yes. <laughs> we did have some today, yes. My daughter would eat crackers all the time if I let her. <laughs> with this recall, no one has gotten sick. That's not the case with these outbreaks over the last two months. A popular Midwest grocery store is urging people to throw out their pasta salad. Pre-cut melon. Breakfast cereal. Traced to eggs. Are we seeing more cases of salmonella these days? Craig Hedberg studies foodborne illnesses. Salmonella uh, levels nationally have been pretty flat for about 20 years. But he says our public health system has been doing a better job of finding outbreaks within those cases. They're linking cases together better, more effectively. So we hear more about it on the news because of that. I don't know if I'm just more aware because now every time we have news feeds. Now that your kids are four and five. Just kind of watch for that right. stuff. We hear more about it because there are more companies and ingredient suppliers who are testing products. Pepperidge Farm is recalling four varieties of goldfish crackers. Then that will lead to a recall of that product. So is our food safer now? It's a difficult question because elements of our food supply are mm -hmm. certainly safer, mm -hmm. but there are constantly new challenges. Yeah. Did it surprise you that it was crackers? A little bit, yeah. Usually think of chicken. Eggs, poultry. This is certainly the first time I've heard of it in, in sort of my dried goods. We've recognized over the past 10 years that salmonella can exist in dried food products. And as more and more new products hit the market. Sometimes there are features of those products that we didn't necessarily anticipate would be a problem. Are you that worried? Not really. Yeah. No, no. But it's good that they're keeping an eye out. Heather Brown. You know, I'd rather be safe than sorry. WCCO 4 News. Dr. Hedberg says the whey powder used to make goldfish crackers could be behind this possible contamination. You can lower your risk from fresh ingredients by washing your hands and keeping raw meat separate from other groceries. If you have a good question for Heather, please email it by going to wcco.com links.